Today we're going to talk about motion maps, a new way to represent motion. Suppose that we were to take a picture using a strobe light that was going off every second. And this, uh, the picture's of a boat that's moving to the right down the river. Each image that we are taking is revealing the position of the boat at a one second interval. So we can see the boat, how it moves every second to the right. Our motion maps look pretty much like this, but instead of drawing a boat, we can just simplify it and say it's a dot. So the dot represents the position of any object at a one second time interval. And we always assume it's one second unless we specify a different time interval. We then kind of not completely connect the dots, but draw an arrow from the first dot to the next dot. And that arrow represents the velocity of the boat. The greater the length of the arrow, the faster that object is moving. Now, if that same boat were to move faster than before, our motion map would look something like this, where we still have these same dots, but now the dots are spread out further apart, and the arrows are longer, representing a faster velocity. Now, notice that the distance between these dots has increased because the boat's moving faster, but the time interval is still one second apart. Now, if we had the boat traveling backwards, going left, the motion map would look similar, but now we have our arrows drawn to the left, representing that the boat is moving to the left. We can also draw motion maps for more complicated motion. For example, in this motion map, we have an object that starts out moving to the right for four seconds, it stops for two seconds, and then it turns around and heads left, going twice as fast as it was before. Now notice when we draw a motion map of objects that either stop or change directions, we always start at the bottom and we work our way up, which is the opposite of what you're used to for reading in English, where we usually start from the top and work our way down. So we start at the bottom, we draw our dots and our arrows. If the object stops, we draw a dot without an arrow. And the number of dots that don't have arrows is the amount of seconds that the object is not moving. So we have four dots with the four arrows. It's moving for four seconds. Two dots that don't have any arrows at all, so that means they stopped for two seconds. And then there are two dots with really long arrows that show that it moved very quickly for two seconds. Now we can also show a motion map with two objects at once. And we labeled each object separately. So we have object A and object B. Notice they have different starting positions. Object A is starting in front of object B. Now, just because they have a different starting position, these first dots are still taken at the same time. So this dot is time zero, and this dot is time zero. These two are time one, time two, and the third second right there. So we can see that <clears throat> object A starts in front of object B, but it's going slower. And at the two second moment, that's where object B is traveling past. It's actually, uh, it's gaining. It's, uh, that's what I'm thinking of. It's surpassing it. It's passing it up. And now it's in the lead at the third second. Now, if we were to draw this exact same motion with a position graph, it would look like this, where we have object B that starts at the origin, moving faster. Object A started in front of object B, but he's going a lot slower. And the point where they intersect is at the two second moment. So now you can see that this is what motion maps look like. It's a bunch of dots and arrows. The dots represent the position of where that object is at that time. The arrows represent the velocity of the object as it's traveling. We can have it moving positive to the right. It can be negative to the left. If it ever stops or changes directions, we go up to the next line when we draw the motion maps. Go ahead and do quiz number uh, three uh, online and make sure you get that done and be ready to uh, come to class ready with any questions.